All week in our special series, Heroes Among Us, we're teaming up with the fine folks at People Magazine to salute ordinary people who do extraordinary things with their lives. Today's subject is Paul White, a teacher in Los Angeles who works with troubled young people. But he'd be the first to tell you that he's not a hero. His students are. No, you don't want to cut and paste. Look at something you want to cut and paste and just say it in your own words. Miracles oh, happen diseases, every day, some of the right here at the West Valley Leadership Academy in Los Angeles. That's because teacher Paul White gives his students equal doses of reading, writing, and respect. The person who feels sorry for you isn't doing you any good at all. Schools like mine are set up for kids for whom the traditional system has not worked. Everything from chronic truants to uh, repeat offenders, gang members, criminals, students have had trouble with drugs or alcohol addiction. Every child, you could say, is at risk. Barely any jump. Students in Mr. White's class learn life's lessons in all barely, kinds of barely. ways. They're required to have a job and take college-level classes. There's a great saying. It says, you're always given enough light to take the next step. Don't stop walking till the light gives out. You don't have to know what you're going to do on the tenth step. You just got to know this one. Paul White students find their power and purpose both inside and outside the classroom. Not only are the walls adorned with inspirational phrases, students are required to do charity work, everything from forming a street cleanup crew to donating their hair to cancer patients. As Aristotle said, educating the mind without educating the heart is not education at all. He talks about more than just basic math and English. He talks about morals and values, and I really like that. For some reason, uh, she wouldn't stay after school before, wouldn't go to tutoring. Now we can't keep her away from the campus. We know not to come at 2.30. She's going to ask for an extra hour here. Mr. White, he's like, get a job, save your money, buy a car, buy a car. Like what I used to do was horrible. I mean, I used to get money like that, come up with like $1,000 like that. But like Mr. White, he's like, work legally for your money, do it right, and you'll have that much to congratulate yourself because you actually worked for it. I'm not on drugs anymore. I attend school every day. Um, I don't disrespect my parents anymore. I actually live at home again. Just everything has gotten so much better. You call in my house or your kids call in my house is not a bother. Paul White does not transform these students alone. If they want to stay in his class, their parents are required to attend a monthly meeting. If they're doing the right thing, run it up the flagpole and salute them. If they're not, step on them with both feet, not because you don't love them, but because you do. Well, here's us on the bus. Not every memory on this wall is a happy one. Three years ago, one of Paul White's students was shot point blank, just a few steps away from this safe haven. He was able to run upstairs to my classroom, and he died uh, right next to my desk in my arms. And it, it was at that point that I realized uh, it's not enough to recommend or encourage or suggest that kids do the right thing. You have to absolutely do everything you can to insist and to allow no other way around it for their sake. So you fail the first time, the third time, the hundredth time. That hundred and first time, you're there. Paul White Five, insists he's no six, hero, seven, that every school eight, could be like his nine, if you give teachers the 20, proper tools one, and a life-affirming purpose. Two. We've gotten awfully good at teaching kids how to stay alive. We haven't done near as good a job at teaching them what they're living for. And so as you simply make a commitment to do whatever's required, and you don't allow them to make anything less. Why, as it says on the back of my shirt, miracles happen on an absolutely daily basis. Paul White. If you're interested in learning more about the heroes among us, you can log on to our website at cbsnews.com.